in this diagram we will discuss interfacing of printer with 8088 processor by using parallel printer interface here we are using 8088 processor we can also use 8086 processor the only difference between these two processor is that 8088 has 8 bit data bus while 8086 has 16 bit data bus 8088 has <coughs> 4 bit instruction queue while 8086 has 6 bit instruction queue so the more convenient processor which is going to connect with the printer is the 8088 processor but we can also connect 8086 processor here now the important connection between the parallel printer interface and the printer are the first is the data bus which is a 8 bit data bus which is the data which is going to transfer from this processor to the to the printer for printing the another two important signals are strobe signal or strobe pin and busy signal or busy pin for these two signal for example if we have to print any data from a processor we first of all have to check whether the printer busy signal is activated or deactivated for example if this busy pin is activated that is at high state that means no data can be transferred from this processor to printer for printing at this state the printer is busy in doing some work so need no data no more data can be printed on this printer now if the busy signal busy pin is at low state that is busy is deactivated then this microprocessor can actually print data which is used for printing now the this microprocessor can assess this printer for printing now the data which is used for printing is going to last for 0.5 millisecond on this data bus that is the data which is going to be print is last for 0.5 millisecond on this data bus during this interval of time the printer can fetch data from this data bus after this interval of time that is after 0.5 millisecond the data will automatically will be deleted or or printer cannot assess data after that interval of time so the fetching time for this data is 0.5 millisecond this fetching time actually can be setted from this straw pin that is this straw pin is activated for 0.5 milliseconds if this straw pin is activated for 0.5 millisecond then this data is going to fetch by printer during this 0.5 millisecond time only this straw pin actually decides the fetching time this straw pin is activated if it is at the low state 
and this drop pin is deactivated if it is at high state so if it is activated that is low state the data is going to fetch by printer during 0.5 millisecond time that is interval of time now for example if this if this printer has fetched this data fetch this data which is on this data bus now the printer will send a acknowledgement signal back to the microprocessor and this acknowledgement signal actually last for 5 milliseconds it's not 0.5 it is 5 milliseconds 0.5 millisecond is the time during which strop signal is activated strop pin is activated and during this activation period the data has to be fetched by printer from the data bus and this 5 millisecond actually the acknowledgement time for printer that it has that it has fetched the data which is sent by the microprocessor now during this 5 millisecond the busy pin of printer is also activated that is printer is busy during this interval of time also that is no data can be transferred from processor to printer during this acknowledgement time this is how the communication between 8086 processor and a printer is to be done by using two signals that is stop signal and busy signal now the important connection between microprocessor and par parallel printer interface the first one is ALE ALE is the address latch enable this pin actually enable or dis disable the address bus of 80 microprocessor next is your address bus that is from A0 to A15 this is a 16 bit address bus to make it 20 bit address bus the 4 bit address line is coming from this multiplexed address data bus this is the multiplex address bus address data bus which, which is 8 bit the next pin is the input output and memory this pin actually decide that whether the input output device or a memory is going to connect with microprocessor if this pin is at high state if this pin is at high state then any input output device can be connected with the microprocessor if this pin is at low state then memory can be connected with the microprocessor here we, you are here we are using actually a connection of printer with the 8086 processor so this pin will be at high state because printer is a input output device now the next pin is the read pin if this pin is at low state then read operation can be performed by the microprocessor if its pin is high then no read operation can be performed next is write pin if this pin is at low state then write operation can be performed and if this pin is at high state no write operation can be performed the next pin is data transfer or receive pin for example if this pin is at low state then data can be transfer from 
8086 processor to any other device and if this pin is at if this pin at is actually if this pin is at high state if then if, if this pin is at high state then data can be transferred from 8086 processor to any other device and if this pin is at low state that zero state then data can be received from any input output device to the microprocessor so this pin can be at low state or high state the last pin is data enable if this pin is at low state then these read and write operations can be performed by the 8086 processor and if this pin is at high state no read and write operation can be performed this pin actually controls the read and write operations of the 8086 microprocessor and the pin has the min max pin if this pin has a low state then this microprocessor is operated at minimum mode um, the, if the, ma actually at maximum mode and if this pin is at high state it can be operated at minimum mode we can actually define from here this is the high state and digital one state during which it can be operated in minimum mode and this is its maximum state that is low state these are the connections between the microprocessor and parallel printer interface the another important concept is the handshaking handshaking is the actual communication between any processor or input output device before there is any interfacing for example if we want to connect actually if we want to receive if a processor want to receive a data from any cd rom then a handshaking process will be done actually for any data from cd rom its speed will be in kbps any data is to be transferred from cd rom to any processor its speeds will be it will be in kbps and for any data transfer from any any memory device the speed can be in mbps speed can be in mbps for example or any other input output device the speed can be other than these speeds so there are different speed for different input output devices which is going to be connect with microprocessor that is different input output de devices has different speeds so the processor first of all set synchronize with these speed the this processor actually first of all has to synchronize with these speeds and this synchronism or this time period is the handshaking period of any processor this is the port which is used to interface a printer with the microprocessor it is a 25 pin or 25 bit port in this 25 pin port we have 8 pins for ground these are the pins which are which are going to be grounded so 8 pins are grounded we have 8 pins for data these are the 8 pins which are 
used for data and the nine pins which are left will be used for input and output for input we have five pins and for output we have four pins these are the nine pins for these pins for these pin and one of this pin these are the nine input output pins which are going to control the transfer of data and control the printing operations of the printer during this interface we have actually studied the how a busy signal will work acknowledgement signal how works strobe signal how is it work if we want to auto off this printer we have using this for example if a a page is got struck with within the printer then auto off operation will be detect uh, will be performed before this auto off error signal is going to be uh, shown by the printer by using this pin we have other pin that is paper end pin paper select pin and select in pin and in interrupt pin